coordinate geometry practice set 5.1 question number 3 find the point on the x axis which is equidistant from point a minus 3 comma 4 and b 1 comma minus 4 Solution: Since the point is on x-axis, its y-coordinate is zero. Let's see x comma zero be the point on x-axis. C is equidistant from point A and B. Therefore, AC is equal to BC. Therefore, under root x minus of minus three the whole square plus zero minus four the whole square is equal to under root x minus one the whole square plus zero minus of minus four the whole square. By distance formula, therefore, x minus of minus three the whole square plus zero minus four the whole square is equal to x minus one the whole square plus zero minus of minus four the whole square, squaring on both the sides. Therefore, x plus three the whole square plus minus four square is equal to x minus one the whole square plus four square. Therefore, x square plus six x plus nine. Plus sixteen is equal to x square minus two x plus one plus sixteen. Therefore, eight x is equal to minus eight. Therefore, x is equal to minus eight upon eight, which is equal to minus one. Therefore, the point on x axis which is equidistant from point A and B is minus one comma zero. Question number four: Verify that points P minus two comma two. Q two comma two and R two comma seven are vertices of a right angle triangle. Solution: Distance between two points is equal to under root x two minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square. By distance formula, PQ is equal to under root two minus of minus two the whole square plus two minus two the whole square, which is equal to under root two plus two the whole square plus zero square. Which is equal to under root four square, which is equal to four. Equation one. Q R is equal to under root two minus two the whole square plus seven minus two the whole square, which is equal to under root zero square plus five square, which is equal to under root five square, which gives us five. Equation two. P R is equal to under root two minus of minus two the whole square plus seven minus two the whole square, which is equal to under root. Two plus two the whole square plus five square, which is equal to under root four square plus five square, which is equal to under root sixteen plus twenty five, which is equal to under root forty one. Now P R square is equal to root forty one the whole square, which is equal to forty one. Equation three. Therefore P Q square plus Q R square is equal to four square plus five square, which is equal to sixteen plus twenty five, which is equal to forty one. From equation one and two, therefore P R square is equal to P Q square plus Q R square from equation three. Therefore, triangle P Q R is a right angle triangle by converse of Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, points P Q and R are the vertices of a right angle triangle. Question number six: Show that points A minus four comma minus seven, B minus one comma two, C eight comma five, and D five comma minus four are the vertices of a rhombus ABCD. Solution: Distance formula is equal to under root x two minus x one the whole square plus y two minus y one the whole square. Therefore, by distance formula, AB is equal to under root minus one minus of minus four the whole square plus Two minus of minus seven the whole square, which is equal to under root minus one plus four the whole square, plus two plus seven the whole square, which is equal to under root three square plus nine square, which is equal to under root nine plus eighty one, which is equal to under root ninety. Equation one. BC is equal to under root eight minus of minus one the whole square plus five minus two the whole square. Which is equal to under root eight plus one the whole square plus five minus two the whole square, which is equal to under root nine square plus three square, which is equal to under root eighty one plus nine, which is equal to under root ninety. Equation two. CD is equal to under root five minus eight the whole square plus 
minus 4 minus 5 the whole square which is equal to under root minus 3 square plus minus 9 square which is equal to under root 9 plus 81 which is equal to under root 90. Equation 3. AD is equal to under root 5 minus of minus 4 the whole square plus minus 4 minus of minus 7 the whole square is equal to under root 5 plus 4 the whole square plus minus 4 plus 7 the whole square which is equal to 9 square plus 3 square which gives us under root 81 plus 9 which is equal to under root 90. Equation 4. Therefore, AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD from equation 1, 2, 3 and 4. In a quadrilateral, if all the sides are equal, then it is a rhombus. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus. Therefore, points ABC and D are the vertices of rhombus ABCD. Question number 7. Find x if distance between points L, x, 7 and M, 1, 15 is 10. Solution x1 is equal to x, y1 is equal to 7, x2 is equal to 1, y2 is equal to 15. By distance formula, distance of L, M is equal to under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Therefore, distance of Lm is equal to under root 1 minus x the whole square plus 15 minus 7 the whole square. Therefore, 10 is equal to under root 1 minus x the whole square plus 8 square. Therefore, 100 is equal to 1 minus x square plus 64, squaring on both the sides. Therefore, 1 minus x the whole square is equal to 100 minus 64. Therefore, 1 minus x square is equal to 36. Therefore, 1 minus x is equal to plus minus root 36, taking square root on both the sides. Therefore, 1 minus x is equal to plus minus 6. Therefore, 1 minus x is equal to 6 or 1 minus x is equal to minus 6. Therefore, x is equal to minus 5 or x is equal to 7. Therefore, the value of x is minus 5 or 7. Thank you for watching The Academic Squad.